when NFL players trash talk and it goes shockingly wrong. Like when Jalen Ramsey found out why he had to respect Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill was put into a box during his rookie season as a return specialist. No one believed he could make it as a serious wide receiver. Although in his second season, he surprised everyone and caught for 1,183 receiving yards and 7 touchdowns. Then he continued his great play as a wide receiver going into 2018. Despite all of his success, one player still doubted Tyreek Hill as a wide receiver. Jalen Ramsey. When the Jacksonville Jaguars faced off against the Kansas City Chiefs in week 5. See, Jalen Ramsey is the best cornerback in the league. He is also a freak athlete who has great size, speed, and animosity. However, Tyreek Hill is also a great athlete, nicknamed Cheetah because he is the fastest player in the NFL. So naturally, when you put two great players up against each other, the media and fans hype it up. But Jalen Ramsey made sure to slam on the brakes. He responded to the hype by saying this. I don't like how, uh, you know, whoever has made it a matchup, me against Tyreek. He made all pro as a return specialist, let's get that right, as a return specialist uh, his rookie year. He went to two Pro Bowls as a return specialist, return specialist, um, two years. I, I made all pro in my position as a corner, uh, went to the Pro Bowl as a corner. Um, so it's not a wide receiver versus corner matchup. Jalen Ramsey is overlooking Tyreek Hill, although Hill is just excited for the opportunity to play against Ramsey, saying, He's a great player. To get my name out there more, I need to go up against more talent like him. He's the top dog right now, so I can't wait. Tyreek Hill is ready to show Ramsey what he has. After watching Tyreek Hill run right past him, I'm sure Jalen Ramsey considers Tyreek Hill a top wide receiver now. Although my favorite play of the game came in the third quarter, when Tyreek Hill beats Jalen Ramsey but the ball is underthrown. Deshaun Gibson proceeds to mock Tyreek Hill. Can you guess what the score was during this play? A 10 to 10, B 0 to 20, or C 20 to 0? The answer is C 20 to 0. That is bad. Tyreek Hill helped his team beat the Jaguars and proved himself against Jalen Ramsey. Tyreek Hill showed what he had when the best called him out, but Dak Prescott got called out by his division rival. To start the 2019 NFL season, Dak Prescott accomplished something that he had never done before in his career. He threw for a perfect game in week one against the Giants. This is a huge accomplishment for a quarterback and has only been done 51 times in NFL history. Although division rival Josh Norman is not impressed at all going into week two when the Cowboys faced off against Washington. Josh Norman is a consistent starter going into this matchup. He is a one-year wonder player who is very confrontational. Josh Norman is not afraid to give his two cents even when literally no one asked for them. And when Dak Prescott reached a new career achievement, Josh Norman made sure to give his opinion. He said, you stand back there in the pocket all day, go through your first, second, and third reads and come back to your first one? Okay, cool. Anybody could do that. Dak Prescott is devastated. He doesn't meet Josh Norman's high standards. How is Dak going to respond in their next matchup? Man, it would be a shame if Josh Norman just happened to play absolutely terrible after talking trash to Dak Prescott. This is a face full of regret. Not only did Josh Norman give up a touchdown, he also got stared down by Dak Prescott during a 42-yard run. 
Although, to be fair, Josh Norman was right. The way Norman played defense, it is super easy to throw the ball to your receivers. Similar to Josh Norman, when Jonathan Joseph singled out a player, he was not ready for the outcome. This is a list of the top 10 players in receiving yards at NRG Stadium. Now, one of these players is not like the other. The odd one out is T.Y. Hilton. See, all of these players were or are members of the Houston Texans, and T.Y. Hilton made this list as an Indianapolis Colt. T.Y. Hilton has dominated while playing at NRG Stadium. So when the Colts traveled to Houston to face the Texans for the wildcard round of the 2018 playoffs, T.Y. Hilton is extremely excited. In fact, when he was asked about playing in NRG Stadium, he called it his second home. Although Jonathan Joseph had an issue with what T.Y. Hilton said. See, Jonathan Joseph is a 12-year NFL veteran. In fact, this is a picture of him in his rookie season. So, of course, Jonathan Joseph got upset when T.Y. Hilton called NRG Stadium his second home. He was asked about what T.Y. Hilton said. He responded, Nah, man, that's for clowns. That's for TV. That's what they do. We could call the division our division since I've been here the last five out of eight years. It's not our first rodeo, so we'll be ready. T.Y. Hilton's comments has locked the attention of Jonathan Joseph on him. Finally, it is time for them to go at it. T.Y. Hillen played great, catching for 85 yards. The Colts won 21-7, which in large part is thanks to T.Y. Hillen's great play. If we jump into the very first drive of the game, T.Y. Hillen took the top off of the Texans defense and put the Colts on the 6-yard line. The next play, the Colts scored, thanks to Hillen's great play beforehand. T.Y. Hillen was singled out by Jonathan Joseph and then proceeded to play great and send the Texans home. Jonathan Joseph was upset for no reason, but J.C. Jackson was determined to prove himself against Stephon Diggs. Stephon Diggs was the very best wide receiver in the entire NFL in 2020. He caught for 130 receiving yards and one touchdown against the Steelers in week 14. Then he caught for 147 receiving yards in week 15 against the Broncos. Now he has one of the hardest matchups of the season heading into week 16 against the New England Patriots. The reason behind this extremely tough matchup is who he will be lining up against. JC Jackson a criminally underrated player, JC Jackson is second in the NFL in interceptions. Despite his success, he has absolutely no recognition. So he wants to shut down the very best wide receiver in the league and earn some respect. And jumping into the game, he did exactly that. By the midway point in the second quarter, JC Jackson has held Stephon Diggs to just one catch for two yards on three targets. Stephon Diggs is not playing good at all, but on the third target, JC Jackson did something that would go on to bite him in the butt. Stephon Diggs is targeted deep downfield in the end zone, but he is unable to bring it in. So JC Jackson decides to boast in his face, and man, should he have not done that. Stephon Diggs played near perfect after JC Jackson boasted in his face. This is Stephon Diggs stats before the trash talk and this is the stats afterwards. JC Jackson trash talked Stephon Diggs and then proceeded to get burnt, toasted, and smoked. Stephon Diggs proved himself against a trash talker, but his brother Trayvon Diggs was on the other side of things. Trayvon Diggs has had an incredible football career. He was a four-star recruit in high school, 
went to the greatest college football powerhouse at the University of Alabama, then he was drafted by the biggest sports franchise in 2020. Plus, he has great size, speed, and instincts, so naturally, his confidence has to be to the moon. Although, he has the toughest task of his impressive career in Week 7 against his division rival, the Washington football team. Trayvon Diggs is up against Terry McLaurin, a quiet, humble, and hardworking wide receiver. Terry McLaurin lets his play on the field do the talking. Although jumping into the game, Trayvon Diggs started to talk trash to him in the second quarter with 10 minutes left. Washington up against the Cowboys 9-3. After this play, Trayvon Diggs got into Terry McLaurin's face and started jawing at him. And now, I'll just let it play out from here. The very next play, Terry McLaurin left Trayvon Diggs in the dust en route to a 52-yard touchdown. I kid you not, it only took Terry McLaurin 40 seconds to get back at Trayvon Diggs. This definitely has to be a great lesson that Trayvon Diggs will never forget in his career. Trayvon Diggs called out the wrong receiver, but a television station in Cincinnati had a quick laugh at Baker Mayfield's expense. When Baker Mayfield was drafted in 2018, he was selected by the Cleveland Browns, the laughing stock of the league. The only good thing about this team in recent history was a fullback and a wide receiver who was high during every game. Although Baker Mayfield took this franchise from poverty to actually respectable. It was tough to make a joke about the Browns play on the field during the 2021 season. Although one television station in Cincinnati did not get that memo going into week 9 when the Bengals took on the Browns. WLWT5, who is Cincinnati's most accurate weather channel 10 years in a row, which who decides that by the way, they put out a billboard saying, more accurate than a pass from Baker Mayfield, which according to their sign, that might be true. I mean, 10 years in a row is a commanding hold on the Cincinnati weather industry, although I'm sure their trash talk is felt by Baker Mayfield and the Browns. But to add pressure, this game will be huge for deciding who makes the playoffs later in the year. See, the AFC North is currently in a heated race. All teams have a winning record. Whoever loses this game will surely be at a disadvantage later on in the season. Finally, it is time to see how Baker Mayfield responds to the trash talk. Baker Mayfield played amazing. He threw for 218 passing yards, two touchdowns, and a 132.6 passer rating. The Browns beat the Bengals 41-16. Although, to truly see how dominant this win is, this is a graph showing the Bengals' point differential. Now, if we reveal where this game lands, Baker Mayfield and the Browns handed the Bengals the worst loss of their season. WLWT5 might be great at giving accurate weather reports, but they should leave the trash talk alone. That being said, if you do trash talk, it is amazing, but make sure you can back it up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe while you are down there. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.